You're going to be doing part of this assignment over the weekend. I'd throw together a little tutorial so nobody got lost. Um, so this is going to cover the vectorization of the drawing that you guys did in class today. Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, once we're in Illustrator, we're going to open a new document. It should be letter size, eight and a half inches wide, so that corresponds to the sheets we were using earlier to manually enlarge our drawings. Go ahead and click OK. And then the next thing we need to do is import that scan version of our artwork in. So we're going to do that by going File, Place, and selecting our scanned assignment sheet. And it should just pop right in there because the two correspond exactly. Um, if for some reason it doesn't, just go ahead and select the uh, select the artwork and using the grab anchor portion, just size it till it is appropriate. And then what I always like to do is lock that layer down so I can't accidentally move it. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is use my rectangle tool and clicking in this upper right hand corner or sorry upper left hand corner I'm gonna click on the uh, artboard and that'll pull up a little dialog box that allows me to precisely enter in a uh, size uh, so I'm gonna enter in 5 inches wide by 6.75 inches tall and that should correspond exactly with what's on the screen I'm gonna go ahead and remove the uh, fill and again, if for some reason that isn't right in the middle of the screen, just make sure to center it over the uh, artwork. The next thing I'm going to do is turn this path into a guide. I'm going to do that by pressing Command-5, that's the shortcut. And you can see that it goes a teal color and it's now listed as a guide. I can't select it or move it. Um, it's just going to help me keep my drawing all square and proportional. Um, and you can also notice that when I roll my selection tool over it, it says guide in green. It'll say anchor when you go to uh, anchor point. Those are uh, smart guides, and you can turn those on by pressing command U if for some reason they aren't on. They're super handy um, when you're trying to draw something like this. So somewhat arbitrarily, I'm just going to pick a point to start. Um, for me, it's going to be this lower left-hand corner. So I'm going to start building this, uh, this shape, or this path. And as part of the handwork process, this line got a little skewed. It was originally supposed to be um, totally straight. Um, and that's okay. We can fix that, those minor details, once we're vectorizing it. So if it was intended to be straight go ahead and do that one way to accomplish that is to hold down the shift key that makes your uh, pen tool move in increments of 45 so I can have my pen way over here and as long as I'm holding down the shift key it'll still make that line perfectly straight so I'm going to keep going around All right, so I have a what should be a closed path, and to double check on that, I'm gonna turn off my uh, linked file, and I'm also gonna turn off my guide, and you can see that it goes all the way around. The other way to check that is to press Command Y and make sure that in outline mode you aren't missing a path for some reason. So I'm going to select this path and fill it as opposed to having it a stroke. And then I'm going to go ahead and select it and press Command C to copy it. And then I'm going to come over here to the uh, form counterform vector template that you guys received in the email. And there's a couple things about this file you'll notice. There's three layers. There's the vector drawing. There's the layer titled delete this layer, which is this 
um, magenta box, and then there's the crop marks. So I'm going to go ahead and press Command F, that's paste in place. You can also press Command V, but it won't end up being perfectly centered in where it was on the artboard before. Either one is fine. Um, this one just has the extra step of centering it up. So it looks like that's right in there, but what I'm going to do is um, zoom in and just double check. Begin by pressing Command Y to make sure it's sitting on there perfectly, and it is. So once it's where you want it and it's in that box, um, what I'm going to do is um, delete this layer. I'm going to have to move my uh, palette over here so I can do it properly. So we're going to get rid of that layer entirely. So all you're left with is crop marks, which are locked in your vector drawing, which of course isn't. Let me zoom out. And that's uh, about what it should look like. At this point you just need to save it according to the file naming structure outlined in the assignment sheet and you're all set. If you guys have any questions uh, give Maurice or I a uh, shout out over email and um, have a good weekend. Thanks.